hello guys you're welcome back to our tutorial uh, demo on how to convert java object to xml um, so today what we are going to do is to take a step further you know in our last in our previous video um, we actually created the first video we created this pojo um, a simple student class and uh, we created a method that converted the students to xml and print to the console right and the second video actually talked about how to take that student object and save it to XML file, of which we did. And this is this is the output of that, and this is the file here, right? So what we are going to do today is to take a step further. Instead of saving just one student to a file, we are going to save a list of students to XML file. We're going to convert a list of students to XML and save them to XML file. And saving a list of students is trickier than saving just one student to file. So that is what we are going to do today. So if you have not watched the first and second video, I really encourage you to do that so that you can understand everything we did in the past until we get to this point we are today. Um, for that, the first thing we're going to do here is to create a new class here that will actually do that work for us, okay? So now I'm going to have a student class called student list. Student list, right? And I'm just going to hit enter. And here uh, we're going to have just one attribute here, and that is going to be list of students. List of students, which is the plain student we created in our first um, in our first video. So this is what we're going to do here: list of students. I'm going to call this students, right? And I'm going to use the lumbok that we added to our pom file last time. So I'm going to use this lumbok a data. And this is our pom file here. You can watch the first video to see the content of this pom file. So you can see the dependencies and the dependencies that are there that actually helps us to get what we did uh, done. So here we have the lumbok um, data for getter setter, and we're going to have um all arg constructor and also we're going to have um a non-arg constructor right cool and here we are going to have we're going to use um a, a jazz annotation called um at xml root elements right and we are going to use another annotation called at xml accessor right xml accessor accessor type and this one is going to be xml um xml accessor type this one is going to be accessor type dot um um dot field we're going to use it for field i don't know why this one is not coming up maybe okay let me take it up okay sorry it's my bad so here um, we're going to just have this as access access type dot field because here what we actually focus what we are focusing on here is this field here we are focusing on this list of students that we're going to convert to um, uh, XML format so we are going to have another um, annotation here called XML elements because this is what we are going to convert to um the xml so you can see that this one here we have to go we have to use more annotations than what we did in the first um in the first uh, step we did the first video we did right okay so having done this we are going to go back to the main class and um, actually add another uh, method that we do this for us so for this uh, it's just basically the same right so what i want to do here is to actually duplicate this class i'm going to duplicate this class here and um, so instead of saving save student to to xml file i'm going to say save student list to xml file and this one here is not going to have this plain student but it's going to have the student list that we just created because this is what we're going to save and this one too i'm just going to call it student uh, list so this is what we have here and now we're going to pass this here yeah 
And what we're just going to do, this one here, instead of a single um, student, we're going to say students, right? Just for us to differentiate. It doesn't really matter, but I just want to do this for us to differentiate what is doing what, right? So this is what we need for us to convert um, a list of students to XMFR. So now um, let's call this method here. Let's call this method here, um, here. And we're going to pass student list to this method, student um, list here. Oh, no, no, no. Here. Yeah, student list to this. Um, sorry. I don't want to do this. I really want to create. We're going to create some students here. So here, let's go here and actually create um, a list of students that we are going to pass to this um um, to this method here. So the first thing we're going to do is to create the object of student list, right? So student list, student list equals new what? New student list, right? So that's what we got here. And after that, we are going to pass this. We are going to initialize this with um with with with, with array list. Okay. So what we're going to do here is to take student list dot set students sorry dot uh, yeah dot set students here and here we are going to sorry we're going to say dot set dot set students yeah set students and here we are going to pass new array list here so that is what we're going to have and having done this, I'm just going to create a couple of students. I'm going to take this one here and duplicate it multiple times. So I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five, right? And this one here uh, is going to have one, two, three, and four. And uh, so here we have multiple students and I'm just going to change this. It doesn't really matter, but I just want to change the names. You can just leave it like that because uh, we are just, it's just a demo, right? On how to actually get this done. So I'm going to have Sally here. Um, here, we're going to have two, two, um, three, and we're going to have four. So this is what we have here. And now um, we're going to add, uh, we're going to actually add all the students to the array list that we've created. So for that, I'm going to call the array list student list. Where is that list? Though there's a better way of doing this. We don't really need to write all this, uh, write it like this, but just for demo purpose, okay? <laughs> so now we're going to say student list dot get dot get students dot get students dot add um students so we're going to add student one and right now i'm going to have i'm going to just duplicate this a couple of times like four times right and here i'm going to change these to two this one is three and this one is going to be four right here so this is what we have here what happened Students, one, two, three, four. Yeah. Um, is there any problem? Oh, sorry. Three. I put them all two, 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 two. Sorry for that. Four. Okay, cool. So now we have we are done with creating a list of students here, and what we're gonna do here is to just run the application to see um, the output. So take note. I'm going to. I'm going to remove this file and of course it's going to be recreated when the application runs right so i'm going to delete this and now we are going to run the application again and see i'm sorry um okay no not a mistake let me put space so we can actually to be clear enough for us to see okay cool so this one two three this one here is printed to the console this one is saving one student to file and this one is saving a list of students to file so let's run the let's run it and see what we got 
so why doing this i'm going to indicate this as well as saving saving a list a list of students to xml x xml file xml file here oh error what happened um student list not any of its super class is n is n not known really not known to what to the context is that true okay um what's wrong oh oh here yeah. here yeah. so actually we need to this is the context the just be context right so you see here we pass the play student for saving one student so right now instead of passing one student we're going to actually save the list of students here right so this is what we're going to save so let's run it again and see what we got let's run it and uh, this file is created what is inside oh empty file was created but nothing inside and this one was already created for the single um, to save the single student right one student okay okay so our file our project has run successfully and this was the first method to print the console and this one here is the method to print a single student here um, from here right let me just put it down so this one here actually save a single student to file so now look at this we have students here which is the same as this to save the list of students a list of students rather so let's open up and see what we have so you can see that we have four students save to xml file one two three four sally henry anita and sam right so they are all saved to xml file and um, so this actually brings us to the end of today's demo right um thank you so much for watching and please do do, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and um, Please do not forget also to introduce my channel to your friends. And um, if you have any comments, don't forget to drop it below in the comment section, right? Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again in a subsequent demo like this. Thank you and uh, goodbye.